Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get into today's video, y'all, get you something to drink, get you a snack because we're about to have a little chit chat. So of course, me being me, I grabbed me a ginger ale. And if you grew up in a household like I grew up, you know ginger ale cured everything. You under the weather, drink your ginger ale. And I don't know what it is, but a ginger ale is going to do it for your girl every time. Like, I prefer ginger ale over any other soda. That's the crazy part. Like, over the years, it has just become one of my favorites. But, y'all, let's talk about how today is December 1st. Like, get into this. It's really December 1st, y'all. And what made it even more real for me today, y'all, I was on my lunch break. And y'all, this is my favorite time of the year. If you know, you know. It be the holiday music for me, okay? I was in the car and I was just driving down the road. I'm driving my girl, Stella. Stella is the name of my car, by the way. But yeah, I'm sitting here driving my girl, Stella, down the road. And I heard one of my favorite Christmas songs by The Temptations, Silent Night. Y'all, I heard that in my mind. I said... It's really December. It's almost Christmas. And then what really did it for me was I heard another one of my favorites was Let It Snow by Boys to Men. I was like, it's really Christmas time. It's really the end of the year. And I don't know what it is, but like that made it even more real for me. But like 2023 has been moving the whole year like it has somewhere to be. And I'm just like, baby, slow down. Like... Slow down. Don't move too fast. But I feel like, too, like, as I get older, it's like the years, they just pass by so fast. And it just lets me know that time waits on nobody. So it's just like, if you got goals, you can, look, you, you can accomplish them. No goal is too big. And it's just like, it lets me know that, like, okay, like, girl, you got, you got work to do, baby. You got some work to do. And... It's time to really lock in. I don't want to wait until 2024 to lock in. I want to lock in now. I want to create habits now that, you know, next year I'll be thanking myself this year for, if that makes sense. Because it's just like, that's why I stopped doing New Year's resolutions. Like, I don't do those no more. Just because, like, I know me, my ass will be done with those New Year's resolutions by March. I look, I've been upset, bump that. <laughs> And I tried doing it before and like it didn't work. So that's why I'm like, no, I can't do New Year's resolutions. And, you know, what may work for one person, you know, may not work for another. But I tried it one year just to see. And literally by March, I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. I don't feel like doing this anymore. So I just call them goals. And like I just, you know, month to month, I create goals that I want to accomplish. And if I can't accomplish the goal and that particular month, there's always another month. So, you know, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I typically, when I put out my goals, I just open up a blank note in my phone and I just go from there. But feel free to join me. Open up a blank note on your phone and we can plan our goals together. And remember, no goal is too big. I promise you. And the thing is, you don't know what you can accomplish in 90, uh, not 90 days. 30 days. <laughs> you you don't know what you could accomplish in 30 days. So don't feel like that. You have to wait till next year to lock in or, you know, wait until next year to start something new. Go ahead and start creating habits now. And that's what I'm going to try to do this month is go ahead and get myself ready for next year. So, of course, let me go ahead and open me up a blank note. All right. And I'm just going to put on here, like, December goals. And, of course, I'm going to be extra. I'm going to put a little Christmas tree. Stop playing with me. Boom. Get into it. <laughs> so, of course, um, one of the goals that I really want to work on, and this probably will be something that I'm forever working on, is self-care. So, for me, I go, 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 go. I work anywhere between six and seven days a week. I'm a corporate baddie by day, period. Okay. 
And then when I'm not working my corporate job, I am a waitress. So I'm always working. I'm always on the go. Like it's just constant. And I've been doing this the whole year. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like here lately, I've been noticing my body. Like it's been telling me like, girl, sit down. And it's been moments this like, especially like, I'm not going to say this month because it just started today. But like last month, like, I noticed like there was moments where I wanted to get up and do things and it's just like my body was just like girl lay down sit down and I feel like you know when it comes to your body sometimes it has a way of telling you like you know you need to sit down you need to you need to really relax so definitely self-care I'm gonna put that on my list self-care and one thing about it what I've learned over the years is that Self-care comes in many forms. It could be when you get off work, putting your phone on D&D &D, or going to go sit and get your nails done, your feet done. Even like, you know, getting your eyebrows done, like just different things or hell, even sitting down and binge watching your favorite Netflix shows. So, you know, it really comes in many different forms. And I always looked at it as, oh, I'm going to the nail salon. That's, that's self-care. But really and truly, it's what you make it. And you know, I've really been trying to really find time to rest. And sometimes I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like sometimes it'd be hard. Cause like one thing about me, I'm the type of person where I just be like, okay, I need to do this. 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 But one thing about it that I've learned too, is that baby, that can wait, you know, you know, good to nobody else if you don't take care of self. So that's really what I've been working on. And I feel like I'm going to be forever working on this because I love to go, 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 go. And, you know, one thing about me, your girl has been on her Zoom. Okay. I've been on the grind this year. But, you know, one thing about it, I'm, I'm trying to really scale back. And it's the end of the year. And, you know, it's the holiday season. Like, spend some time with family. Relax. Just chill out. So, Definitely self-care is a big one for me, okay? So definitely self-care. Um, also, another goal of mine that I want to do, and I think I'm going to do it this month, y'all. Like, I really, like, if you know, you know I'm goal-oriented. Like, I love creating goals. And, like, it's like an adrenaline rush for me. Like, when I accomplish a goal, I get so happy. But I definitely want to sit down this month and create a vision board. I've been seeing all the girlies on TikTok create these cute vision boards. Like, they've been going to, like, Walgreens or, like, Walmart. And, like, they've been printing out, like, real pictures of goals they want to accomplish. them, And they've been putting them in this huge frame. So, I think that's what I want to do. So, I'm just going to put that as a goal of mine for this month. I'm going to put create um, create a vision board. And really, I want it to be of everything that I hope to accomplish in 2024. And it's like, like with 2024, I don't know what it is, y'all. But I feel like it's going to be a good year. Like, I'm claiming it now. Like, I feel like that's going to be my year. Like, it's like go big or go home. And it's like, I know I got work to do. And I, that's why I'm excited about the new year. So definitely create a vision board, but I want to be intentional with my goals. Like I really want to, when I go print them pictures out, baby, it's gone. I already know it's going, it's going to look good. So yeah, create a vision board. So, so far we got self-care, create a vision board. Also, I want to continue working out. So I'm going to put that period. Okay. Yeah. Continue working out is another goal of mine. And I've been doing good this whole year because I feel like your health is your wealth. And, you know, it, it really goes hand in hand, working out, eating right. Like it really, it goes hand in hand. So definitely continue going to the gym. I've been going like between three to four times a week. So I've been doing good. So I'm definitely going to continue that. And one thing about it, when I go in the gym, like I leave like any anything that I've dealt with at work, I leave it at the door. I go in there and I just knock out my workout. And sometimes I'm not even going to hold y'all. Y'all, I be forgetting that I'm up in there. Like I be in there vibing out in the swim. <laughs> 
Y'all, I be forgetting I'm up in there. When I get that music going, it's a wrap, okay? And then, like, after I get done working out, I typically go sit um, in the sauna. My gym has a sauna. So, I just be in there and I just be chilling. Like, it just feels so good. And it's therapeutic. Like, you had a long day. Like, I don't know what it is. But for me, it's just, like, all my problems, everything that I dealt with at work, it's just, like, it goes away. Literally. So, definitely continue to work out. Also, I'm definitely going to continue with my daily affirmations. If you know, you know, I'm heavy on affirmations. I feel like you should affirm yourself daily. Um, so I'm going to put continue with daily affirmations. Huh. Let's see. Continue with daily affirmations. And I don't know, like. It's just when I say those affirmations, like I just feel a lot better afterwards. Like every day I'll just stand in front of the mirror and I'll just be like, Alexia, you are beautiful. Alexia, you are blessed. Alexia, you do not chase, you attract. What is meant for you will simply find you. Alexia, everything is working out for your greatest good like i'll say my affirmations and like i just feel like i feel good afterwards so definitely affirmations affirming myself i just i don't know like i just i feel like that when it comes to that i don't like it's just i, I can't explain it y'all like it just makes me feel good and i don't know power of the tongue is real and it's just like okay if you speak negative I feel like negative things will manifest into your reality. Same with speaking positive. You speak positive, it will manifest into your reality. And I just I just feel like, you know, it's it's definitely 10 out of 10 recommend, y'all. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see what we have so far. Let me get back in my phone. Okay, self-care, creating a vision board, continue working out, continue with daily affirmations. Um, also I'm going to continue to pray every day. That's another one of my goals. That will be a forever goal of mine. And I'm not going to lie, like earlier this year, I challenged myself to really try to get closer to God, like continue on my journey. Because I feel like one thing about it, no matter what faith you are, no matter who you believe in, I feel like every day you wake up, you bless, you know? You you went to work, you made it back home safely. That you blessed because some people didn't make it home. So I definitely have been trying to work on that and really just, you know, get closer to them because it's like, you know, I I, I tell myself, especially when I be trying to complain, y'all, because I, I ain't gonna lie, I do be complaining sometimes, but I I I, I, I try to stop and be like, look, Alexia, like you got a job, like you got jobs. You got jobs, you got a roof over your head, you got a car to drive, you got food in your stomach, food in your refrigerator, like you blessed, you know? So definitely been trying to get myself in that mindset because at the end of the day, like you woke up this morning, it's another day to be great. It's another day to be thankful. Like you made the wake up list. Like what? Stop playing. Like, so definitely just been working on that definitely you know between my daily affirmations and and i just say a simple prayer like every day i'll be like i'll be like god thank you for waking me up this morning you know thank you for allowing me to see another day i'll say like small things like that and i just go from there um so yes um so those are my december goals y'all um if you look if you want to you don't have to but in the comments, if if you did, you know, put some goals in your notes or you jotted down some goals, you know, during the video, put your goals in the comments. I would love to see them and we can hold each other accountable. So you want to, you can. Um, but those are my December goals. And guys, happy December. I hope you have a good month and I will catch you guys in the next video.